Hi and welcome to my vlog. I hope you're doing well. Um, and thank you to all those who've been uh, watching my recent vlogs lately. Um, thank you so much. And also to my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Um, today's vlog is all about the gear that I have. Photography, video, all of that. And obviously sound. So let's get straight into that. Here's my MacBook. It's a 13-inch MacBook uh, Pro. Um, it's the last of the Intel chips. And I have a Dell screen. There's an older Samsung screen. This is the screen that I use for editing photos and videos, all of that. Um, that's basically that. I also have a SanDisk 1TB external hard drive, which I use. Other than that, I use Cloud to backup. Um, client content and also my vlogs. I think we should start with the most exciting piece of gear, which is my Pentax K2 film camera. It's a 45 year old camera. You might have seen the video. Um, I did that almost a year ago. It's a film camera. I got it fixed. It took about eight to 12 months to get this fixed. It works amazing. And most of the prints behind me, those are my photographs that I took and at the vlog again, uh, but you might have seen some of those images in my street photography vlog. Uh, half of those are film prints taken from this camera. Pretty decent result for a 45 year old camera. Uh, yeah, forgot to mention, it comes with a very uh, intricate 50 mm lens. Great for portraits, street photography and all of that. Thank you for watching the vlog so far and I hope you're liking it. Just a reminder, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share your comments. It does do wonders for a YouTube channel. Let's carry on. Uh, then this is my most regularly used piece of equipment. It's the DJI Osmo Pocket 2. This is my action camera that I use for most of my vlogs. It's going to come really handy in the Canadian winters because I'm right now shooting on my Sony S7 IV and I won't be taking the risk to take it out in snowfall. Um, the Pocket Osmo 2 comes with this wireless mic and it also comes with a tripod which is 
somewhere here. Another prized possession is this lens. It's on an E-mount. It's on a Sony E-mount, which I got from KNF Concept. The great in terms of you know small stuff, uh, handy stuff. So this is a Helios Helios 44-2. Um, it's an old Soviet lens, and it's pretty famous for um, its bouquet. It's squarish bouquet actually it's not like round bouquet um, which we usually see uh, it's pretty square and one fun fact about this is it's also called the batman lens because this was used in the most recent batman film interesting right uh, i plan to shoot a vlog with this but on a on a better sunny less cold day maybe uh, and then, like I mentioned, a Sony E-mount. Uh, this is my go-to lens. It's the 50mm um, 1.8 Sony lens. So, there we go. This is what I use for most of my photography work. I mean, portrait photography and everything. Um, on my Sony a7 IV, on which I'm recording right now, uh, which has a 17 to 24mm Tamron lens on it, which is the one that I use for my videos. So in case you're wondering um, what's a good lens to use for your videos, vlogging, I think 17 to 20, actually 17 to 28 mm is pretty good. So that's what I recommend. Um, next on the list is a Fujifilm X-T32. This is the camera that now I'm using for street photography and it's really you know it's really light and the results pretty decent you can put in custom film emulations and there are existing film emulations such as kodachrome um, pacific blues or uh, negative chrome so it's pretty decent uh, it comes with a kit lens pretty i like people don't really people don't really respect the kit lens enough that's what i would say but 18 to 55 is a pretty decent range uh pretty versatile so yeah the the, the screen doesn't slip out which is fine i use this mostly for street photography so my street photography vlog that i did recently the pictures came from this one um next on the list are my road wireless Road wireless go to mics. I use these for uh, vlogging. I've used these quite a lot for vlogging, and uh, they've been fairly decent. Right now, I'm using my Lavalier color mic, just testing this out. Um, what's next? Quite a bit of equipment. This right here is my. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, that's. It's my. Joby tripod and I have a Lanzi light mounted on it and I never I never complain but this light I bought it I was lazy I wasn't you know uploading vlogs for quite a few months like three four months and then I just recently started um, this light I started using after I, I bought I bought it it was lying around for three months then I started using it just doesn't work can switch it on but it'll go off on its own like there's no reason i've charged it also the led at the back where you can set the calvin doesn't work it flickers but it doesn't work that's my rant for the day and what's next i use my airpods they are lying around somewhere here can't see them and then i have these uh, headphones which are Sennheiser headphones, so with a wire, old school. They're great for, um, you know, listening to music and stuff. Also for editing, I use these mostly. I find them to be more comfortable also with the, with the foam. Um, next, yes. Next on the list 
is the Zion. I don't know how to pronounce it, but the Zion gimbal. Um, I did the unboxing today, which is somewhere in this vlog because I'm recording this right after, right along with the unboxing. Um, so that's my Zion gimbal and is last but not the least, also the most important is my low pro bag. I have had it, it's my camera, laptop. I've used this for traveling also uh, when I don't want to carry anything else. Fit a couple of t-shirts in, you know, uh, put my laptop in, my lens go in there, my two cameras at the same time and all my equipment and it's waterproof pretty decent if it works in Canadian winters that means it's a good piece of equipment so that's the bag and a critical piece of equipment is my Sony tripod that I've had for ages uh, my Sony a7 IV with my Tamron lens is currently mounted on it um, so here's the another small piece of equipment but which is very critical in terms of photography uh, especially in the summers uh, winters are mainly gray and the lights pretty um, same I mean it's not harsh at all um, it's boring um, the lights not hard at all so here's uh, this is an ND filter that I use it's a variable ND filter so that's that and this one right here this one right here is a black diffusion filter okay. um, you know something like that uh, I'll do a photography vlog and then share what these are for that's that uh, what else what else this there's lots of smaller stuff which I don't have on my desk right now. They're here and there. I just need to just trying to set the space up better uh, for more productivity. Please like, share, and subscribe. And finally, this is the Rode mic. This is a Rode shotgun mic that I bought when I started vlogging. So it's one of the first mics that I've used. Uh, there's a lot of buzz in my um, apartment. So I don't use this indoors, at, as in you can use it indoors, but uh, the road mics really pick up that buzz. So the sensitivity is probably too high. So I'm using this Laravel mic, just plugged it into my Sony camera. That's basically it for today. And I hope you liked this vlog. If you did, do hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon so that you're informed every time I upload a vlog or a shot for that matter. And thank you for watching. Also, Happy New Year.